Okay, first thing I'm going to show here is this is how my computer looks when it first starts up. Because th th this is going to be kind of helpful. And you'll see why. So I have hyper-threading enabled right now on my computer. I'm obviously doing OBS video. So you can see that my cores are being used. Um, There's all this crap that's running right now. So usually the first thing that I do is I will load up MSI Afterburner. So that's running and I run that for my fan curve for my 980 Ti. And then once that's done, I load up Process Lasso. And now that's running. Then I go into configure core parking because usually at night, I enable all of this because my computer is on 24 seven and I would like it to, you know, vary its speed down to generate less heat when I'm sleeping, but I'm using it. So I turn all that crap off. I use another program called throttle stop and I disable speed step and C1 sleep state enhanced. Got that going, now that's off, and I just close it. And this goes to the tray, and I will open that up in a second. Then I open up my Terra launcher. And I have Terra running. Now Terra, I will put in a window here. I'll put it in 720p. And now I will talk about why I run process lasso and what process lasso is used for. So you could see here, I have an i7, so it's four cores with hyper threading. This will automatically detect when Terra.exe is running and it'll run on cores zero, two, four, and six, as you could see. And what that is, is core zero is the actual physical processor. One, is the secondary, you know, hyper-threaded part of that processor and so on. So you can kind of figure out what that, that is. So I got that going. And that is how I start up my computer for pretty much playing every game. I will set up, I'll figure, figure out if the game likes hyper-threading or not, if it's multi-threaded, I'll set up process lasso for it and I make sure really nothing's running in the background. Okay, so here are some other Terra tweaks that I do. I go to my Terra folder, client, S1 game, config, and you have S1 engine. And I will open it up with Notepad++ because I like the way it looks. And some of the basic things that I've changed here are I have disable, uh, Physics hardware support, you change that to false. Now it's, people say it boosts frame rate. I don't notice one way or the other because I actually don't think anything in this game uses PhysX, traditional PhysX as it's meant to be used. Another thing I change is use minimal NVIDIA driver shader optimizations to false. Say it boosts frame rate, sure, why not? Uh, what else I change here is oh yeah let me go back up okay so you got smooth frame rate turn it off so it's not limited the frame rates not limited I do limiting in another application I use the Reva Tuner overlay the MSI Afterburner uses. And if I want to limit it, I'll use frame rate limit right here. I'll put it to like 60 or something, even though I have 120, 144 Hertz monitor. So, yep. Now here's where you get the big boost of frame rate. It's still not enough. This engine is horrible, but dynamic shadows, you want to turn those to false. Environment shadows go to false. You want to have composite dynamic lights on true. 
depth of the field false, ambient occlusion false, bloom, high quality bloom distortion, particle distortion. This you want to change to true, only stream in textures. What that does is you notice how when you're playing the game, you will see textures start to get more detailed, but then sometimes they'll pop out of detail. This will make it so they just pop into detail and they will not load back out. Another thing that you will change here is you don't want to do, a lot of people say allow D3D10. It does not do anything. Same thing with allow D3D uh, 11. I think that's another one. doesn't do anything. You want to change better modulated shadows to false, even though you have shadows off. It's helpful. You have foregr foreground shadows on world, false. Foreground self-shadowing, false. Fractured damage, false. Here, FXAA, false. And you should be good right there. Okay, now there is a couple other things that you could change that are a little bit more advanced, like use texture file cache and pool size for texture streaming. Now I set this, this is crazy, it says 140. There might be math to this, but I go to 2048. Wait, I don't have my numpad on because I'm retarded. 2048. And then I go to, I try to find anything else that is related to um, memory and things like that. And I try to keep in my mind um, of how much memory my system has, how much VRAM my graphics card has. Graphics card has six gigs and my system has 32 gigs of RAM. So I try to increase this stuff. So. This one says size of permanent object pool. Cool. So let's make that 2048. Let's make this 4096. See what that does. Make stale cache size 2048. You want to disable on screen warnings because you actually don't see them. They're not a thing. They're just another part of the UI that isn't there, but if you disable it, it's good. And those are some of the more advanced settings that I change in that file. Now, if you want to go a step further, you have S1 input and you want to go enable mouse smoothing false. So now let's take a look at what changing those settings actually does for the game. Okay, so I got the game running, the game's working. I will put it in full screen mode in 1080. Apply, okay, and I will log in. So we're in right now, and I'll walk around a little bit because you got to let uh, some of the things preload. See, people are loading in. Everything's getting cached. And it's a little slower because I am recording, but I will. Um, Go through and I will use GeForce Experience Shadow Play to uh, do the same exact run that I'm doing here without any system resources being used. So now I'll go back.
So let's take a look at what this looks like unimpeded by recording. Okay, so now I'm recording using Shadowplay. And let's see the kind of frame rate I get. You see my frame rate jumped up a whole bunch there and that's either because I'm not looking at many people or everything has loaded properly and is now taking place in RAM. And there's a lot of theories to why when you see a big group like this that your frame rate drops. Some people say it's because the UI I think it has to do with uh, character shadows, lighting, and a couple other things. But see, take off the, U the UI, and you still have, you know, the things over people's names. So let's take all that off. Say so 40, 47 here. So let's hit O, and. All that's off now. That's off. And that's off. And you see, there's there's no UI going on here. And I'm getting 80. I'm getting basically double. Essentially double my frame rate. So the more UI you could live without, the better. The more memory you could let the game eat up, the better. And truthfully, if you play this game and you're thinking, mm, I'm going to get myself a, like I have a 980 Ti or I'm going to get a GTX 1080 because this game's running so slow, it will not help you. The game won't, won't do anything. It won't be any faster. You could guarantee that because nothing with this game makes any sense. This shouldn't be running like this. I'm using right now. 54% um, TDP at 30% GPU usage. My CPU is at 30%, which should be at about 50. But actually, when I was looking at this game CPU usage, it really only uses three cores. So it's about right. And the best thing you could do for this game if you're doing, um, you know, PvP runs and all that, go into Battlegrounds. This, this is what I do, even on my system. You don't have to be like, well, you know, I'm more powerful than that. I shouldn't have to do this. Well, I do this. And this is why I'm now getting 150 frames per second. So let's look at that, that group again. Let's get over there. So if I look at a large group of dudes. Still doesn't help you. So I hope some of this in this video was helpful and more so I hope it was eye-opening because I can't find anything that'll give you straight up better frame rate in this I can't I'm still looking for it I'll post a video when I find some sort of a secret no no one has uh, thought of but until then just run everything low if you're gonna PvP there's no reason why you shouldn't and uh, like I said, look out for the next video. See you guys later.